and then the main goal is to have some agitators on typical sign the recall for government. And just a reminder, not all Democrats are bad. They want to be somehow. So that's why we're not gonna engage and be mad at those people. Okay? So I'm gonna turn between Mike to um Ben, Ben, I'm just uh to Tim to so talk about it. <laughs> awesome. Hi, my name is Tim. I'm one of the proponents for RecallGavin2020.com. Talk louder. Uh, make sure you remember that website, RecallGavin2020.com. Recall Gavin. We need as many people to help volunteer and get signatures as possible, and just like Kay was saying. Um, we need help all throughout the state, um, especially in this area. We live in a very, um, I like to call it a blue side, which makes me sad. Um, and Democrats are signing this recall because Gavin's doing a lot of bad things. I don't know if any of you have heard about SB 145. Yeah. We like okay. to call that the pedophile bill. Oh, yeah. He's actually reduced fines and made it we'll see terrible for children. Yes. So, this is bringing a lot of people on board. So let's you know try to be as neutral as possible and you know get everybody to sign this recall we need boots on the ground on every corner for this recall and this is doing our president a favor by recalling this tyrant governor yeah, oh, yeah. Hey. all right so recall gavin 2020.com remember that website and let's make this happen so if anybody right. here because i'm part of the Chris. recall team yeah all right so Oh, I can talk. I, I talk loud. <laughs> right. Good. Right. So if anybody here wants the to-go packs, I have to-go packs, which we made up. I have has, some as well. Yeah, so it has two of the uh, petitions inside of it with the instructions how to fill it out. Also it's real donation. simple. You take it home, get your friends, family, your co-workers Please. to fill it out. You fill out the bottom part that you collected the signatures and put two stamps on it, mail it in. And the address is already on the envelope. So you guys want any of those i've got a bunch in the truck i have 200 so, of them with me yeah, Chris has so, some with him yeah so we need everybody so you need to tell all your friends all your family go to recallgavin2020.com there they can download the petition they can also go to take action if they're from another county and on that you'll have every county throughout the whole state of california click on that and it will actually tell you actual permanent signing locations in your area. So say you're from Orange County or you're from Ventura or San Bernardino County, you can click on San Bernardino and it'll tell you where you can go sign in San Bernardino. Anyways, that's all I have. I'm part of the Scott. team, so let's do this. Let's save pray. our state, let's save our children. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Cool. We need to pray. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're gonna do that, but Scott, come over here. It's your turn. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. Sorry for yelling in the air. You okay? Um, Scott's going to be talking mom? about our route. Let's go find your mommy, okay? So he's going to be our mom? guy. Okay. There's your mommy. Hurry up. Now, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, next speaker. <laughs> I got I to gotta go, Ashley. I got to go. Oh, that's Ashley. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, uh. All right, so that was Ashley with the caravan. They are running behind schedule. They're coming up to Belmont. They'll be here in about 40 minutes or so. Security here asked me to let you guys know, please don't block the traffic or else they're gonna ask us to leave. Second thing, they weren't too happy with us uh, being on their private sidewalk. So I talked to the security. We're not gonna solicit anybody for the Gavin Newsom. So we're not gonna say, hey, come sign, but we're gonna offer them the opportunity to sign. So as long as we don't solicit everything, they said as long as you're here for like 25, 30 minutes, uh, they're not going to have any big issues. So we're going to run here for about 25 minutes, and then we're going to cross over the bridge, go down Alma, and make a left on Hamilton. When we make a left on Hamilton, that should be about the time the caravan joins us. We're going to go down Hamilton until we hit Bryant, where they have the Black Lives Matter mural, and then we're going to set up shop there. <laughs> So right now, it goes to Maria. Maria. Okay. okay. Um, you all would pray with me. Yeah. Father God, we thank you so much for each and every one of our Patriot brothers and sisters who are here with us today. We are so thankful that you put each other, put all of us in each other's lives no, so no, that we can no, encourage each other and be lifted up. 
We ask you to please bless and protect each and every person that's with us today and their loved ones. Please keep us safe and remind us that we are representatives of you so that we can respond with love if we are encountered with any rudeness. There is a lot of at stake at this election, and so, Lord, I, I pray that you will um, heal President Donald Trump and our First Lady, Melania Trump. Please heal them of the virus. Please protect, strengthen, and encourage them. We pray for the health and safety of the entire Trump family and Pence family. Uh, we pray for all members of our law enforcement and our first responders. And we pray for all the lives of the children in the world and ask you to please protect them. And we just thank you so much for your blessings and please um, protect us and keep us strong and strengthen us and give us the courage to um, speak back toward the evil that we are seeing in the world. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What's that? Now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Whoops, I got Pledge of Allegiance. Probably right back. Let's do the RNC one, not the DNC one. <laughs> of course, we're in single lane. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Play ball! <laughs> Yeah. And I'm going to be on the motorcycle alongside of you guys. I'm going to be behind you, in front of you. So if you guys get lost, just look for the motorcycle with the three flags. Uh, I'm going to be revving it, so I'm going to get a lot of attention downtown Palo Alto. So just giving you a warning. I have this one. Do you have this book? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to be good. Let's see the video. I have one already. Thank you. I want to see this. Here, I'll get one for him. Sorry. It's, uh, it's um. What is this book? Yes. It is, uh, you know, Mr. This, this so don't co -op. Listen, he predicted 2016 he's going to win. Yeah. He's an ancient man. Yeah. And he can read the people's yeah. mind. He is a very special person. And in 2010, he uh, published a book about Mr. C. At that time, people considered he's a gentle soul, but he, he saw his true intention and the world would be in a very difficult place, so he published and let people know. And he read his mind, Mr. Trump. He is a wonderful... This is a brand new book. Yes, it's Biden and Trump. Yes, it's, it's a brand new book. Because the uh, America's president affects the whole earth. Yes. So every year, uh, the debate, he publishes what their true intention, not the lip service. And you can read back all those books. And he published them. And we want the Communist Party to not expand anymore. Yes. So, uh, so, hey, thanks for staying with us, everybody. Um, let me fill in a little bit of the dead air, but not much. So, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, standing, standing here. We're just uh, doing some of the prep, uh, sharing information, collecting contact info. People are passing out some books. Uh, would you like to uh, give these have, uh, for free if you come to one of these rallies? You want to describe your book, Check man? it out. Yes. Written by a Japanese uh, This is my honorary in Okawa in Japan. Oh, hold on. And he can read people's minds. And in 2010, he published Xi Jinping's true uh, intention. I'm going to get this walk going. From what we've heard, we're going to do a little walk starting here. It's going to be a caravan. And then well, we're in Palo Alto. Just as blue as anywhere else. And um, like what you just heard with the car revving up the road there. Who knows what we're going to see? Uh, people are weird. Last time we we had some bottles of water thrown at us. That could be the least of our worries. I know, I know. Be vigilant and um, have your camera ready to see something that I'm not reverting. What is this thing happened on the first 
shit like that. They're not going to ruin their dinners because we aren't BLM. Like this is the part we're supposed to go up to the tables and start smacking the yeah, tables yeah, sitting yeah. down. Should we? No. Absolutely not. That's not our style. They were milk chips at them and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. We were the entire time. Yeah. But they all go do something like that. They ruin everyone's food. What's your birthday? Uh, Oregon. Nine, eight, or nine days a week. Or a month. So I haven't even accepted it because I'm like, I, I can do this kind of activist work. I'm going to talk to the Dynamite and the Shirley guys and the Santa Cruz guys. That's cool. We're heading out right now. We can at least open this side. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But you know, the good thing though is like meeting, you know, cool people. I've met, the, my, like, I lost so many friends on Facebook and stuff. But those are the ones. Okay. What is it? So, it's important. Like, those are it is. I want to get a going mask. The video I sent you. Going? What you trying to do? With a big Jewish nose.
Yeah. Like they're at the like, zoo right now going, oh yeah. my god, those people really exist? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Actually, we Still do. after all this time. Yeah. Well, you know, they are lucky. We are not the BLM. We're going to destroy See, these They're, staff, they're right? faking the exactly. looks that we would actually have if we saw this many people going for anyone else on the Democrat side. Yeah. If we are the BLM people, all these buildings will be destroyed. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yep. Easy. I was just about to say that. You know, yeah, yeah, I only inspect the, the so conservative like three. Love you too! Yeah. 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 Love you! Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look at it! Yeah. What?
for crossing. Yep, you're right. Put the song on. I tell you, man, whoever made that song is probably making bank off of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they always play it. GSW kit, but I'm like, I don't need it. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's Hi. fine. I got all of that, everything you said to me. <laughs> Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Pro Man 17. I got you. Okay. Pro Man 17. Pro Man. C R O W M A N 17. Pro Man 
become Pro Man 170. Yes, my, uh, my mascot. The minion. Pro Man 17. Republicans in California and around the nation courage to express their views and encouragement to bring everybody else to the party. And what's your name? Robert. Robert. And this is so uh, this event was put on by do you know who? It was organic. I don't remember who sent it out. Uh -huh. How'd you hear about it? I heard it from a couple of people at the uh, Los Gatos rally. There you go. And you're a big Trump fan, right? Yes. You're rubbing pro Republican all the way? All the way. Conservative? All the way. And you're going to be voting for Trump? All the way. Why are you voting for Trump? Because he's amazing. No. Because I want to see the federal judiciary reform by the end of his second term. I want to see SCOTUS, Supreme Court, reform so that we're not using the bench as a legislative party. I want to see our military so strong that we don't have to use them. I want to see more tax cuts for Americans because it's their money and the government doesn't have a right to redistribute it. I want to see the wall built because it's the most moral thing that we can do for the people of Mexico. So the Mexico will then be forced to give them passports and they won't have to walk across the desert anymore and look over their shoulders for the rest of their lives. That's not right. We want to come here. I don't care if you come here. Just come, everybody. Legally, because you don't have to look over your shoulder. Yeah, we don't disagree with immigration, it's legal immigration. A lot of people just don't seem to get that. Illegal immigration is an amoral concept, and it's harmful to the people coming across the desert. There's no reason for it. We've got a perfectly legitimate front door. You get an American identity, whether it's temporary or permanent. You never have to look over your shoulder, and neither do your children or your grandchildren. 
What do you think of these people who come here illegally only to start saying that they hate this country once they've gotten here? And teach their kids that way. What do you think, what? I think they're ungrateful. Yeah, that sounds pretty ungrateful to me. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Is there well, anything else you want to say before I... The last I message? I love your bird. Couldn't thank afford you. an eagle, so you got a blackbird. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Feel free to edit out. I do my thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Especially Crow is very family oriented. Yeah, Crow is very vocal, very uh, yeah. sociable. Yeah. And they just won't fly out. Yeah, no. And you find them when they're little and you, you, you imprint them yourself on them, show them that this is life. This is what life is going to be like. And eventually, you know, just like a horse, they'll take. Right. And um, yeah, I found him as a little bait. That's the easiest way to do it. The older they are, the harder it's going to be. Sure. It just, it's, um, but yeah, I found him as a baby. It took him about a week and a half, and he finally just gave him and started letting me feed him. When this guy with the tent mask turns around, the camera picks it up as a person. Oh yeah, my phone does that on, on photographs. Yeah. I'll take a picture of the photograph to remember something, and it starts picking up faces. Yeah. He's like, I didn't see these other people, but it's, it's got Donald Trump right there. He's like, yeah, there's, there's Trump. You recognize that guy? Yeah. the election, I sent uh, all my friends, they were down in Hollywood with a bunch of entertainers, they were sure they were going to have a Hillary party. Oh yeah. And uh, about 10.30 I started seeing that we were, we had the momentum, so I sent out a bunch of texts to everybody and saying, hey, I think there's something wrong with my phone, can you send me a text back? Nobody did. I got wasted with my brother while we were celebrating. The next morning people started texting me back, they're like, hey, hope your phone's okay, text me back and let me know if it worked. So I texted him back and I said, oh yeah, it worked just fine, I'm sorry, I forgot to push the Trump button. <laughs> I, had a, I had a few FUs come back and I'm like, come on, did you have a humorectomy? That was funny. <laughs> I would have just dropped everything and went to just concentrating on building another business. And then done with it. Did you see all these other people? This wasn't anything but a peaceful transfer of power. It's been really just a downhill scale since yeah. then, the way the left has been acting. I tried to explain that to friends for the last three years. I'm like, oh, you want a peaceful transfer of power? All right, why don't you stand the fuck down? Just watch that one bounce, man. Yeah. Tell your guys to stand the fuck down. Yeah. Inventing all kinds of crimes that don't exist. Mm -hmm. But they don't have to. The rules that they don't have to abide by. No, nobody's getting arrested for the crimes they committed. <laughs>
we're at. Thank you.
about that. People so far have asked me, y'all from here? Y'all from around here? Is this the people here wouldn't do? I don't really get that. We have to get together and just make it happen. Yes. 
Yeah. This is for us. Why are the cops dropping the shit? Let's do it again. One more time. Show them respect. One more time. But you do it for Do we have the drone now? No. Where's the drone?
arresting people on the 4th of yeah. July. Donald you know, Trump is trying to get that. It's helping the African American community. You know that? Okay. He's trying to get first step back. Rainbow Justice Report. They killed a little kid. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry, pretty thirsty. 